Morocco. All right, guys. So, uh, all right, we're gonna we're gonna play something for you real quick, and then I'm gonna start blabbering about a little bit about it. All right, Let's go. We do all the crazy stuff. Right now. what you're gonna see here. This is called the Rev Pad. The Rev Pad is basically a wireless touchpad effects controller. It controls all the effects that comes in this box, our effects processor unit. Inside we have analog distortion and analog overdrive and a whole bunch of classic and unique effects. What this thing does, you can assign up to eight effects and all their power meters to get control right from the pad here. So I can do standard stuff almost like doing going from clean tone. And just slowly fade in the distortion. Let's say a wah pedal. Now instead of going to the pedal board and do that thing, you know, to get attached to the pedal board, I can now play wah really just everywhere I want. So I can run in the stage and play wah whatever I want. Now here's a cool feature. Now the fact is, if the reason that you can play effects here can give you almost limited stuff. Like you can do a lot of cool stuff. For example, pitch shifting. I can use a pitch shifter to do almost like a tapping voice, uh, like line. For example, instead of doing that, I can and I can split effects. So I have different types of. You know what, here's Rob. Rob, show them a little bit of that pitch shifter uh, things here. For example, the, uh, what are you doing right now? We're gonna try. Just a sec. This is how quickly you can replace this. So here, here's a cool uh, pitch shifter. So what I've done here actually added the kill okay, switch. Done. I added the kill switch on pitch shifter. Go for it. You can make the pitch shifter go really high. When I leave it alone, I go back to my original sound. You don't need to press anything. Let's say you want an arpeggiator. So, I can do this. But I can divide the pad into two ways and maybe choose a major arpeggiator here and a minor arpeggiator here. So 
So according to the song, I can change them. That's an E minor and a C major. One with my finger. Maybe do this with the kill switch. What else? Show them the bonanza stuff. Alright, so think about this way. Think about this thing as like someone sitting next to your pedal board and that do that for you. By doing you have your virtual assistant next to your third pedal board, you can do like really wacky sounds like this one. <laughs> Stuff like that. Of course, you can always use a standard kill switch, like... Or maybe put a kill switch with a Wawa inside. You get really weird sounding, almost like uh, something you cannot do from the guitar. Now the cool thing, you don't need to uh, put anything in the guitar to make that happen. All you need is just to put it in the thing and like that. No holes needed, you don't need to put any weird glue on it, just like that. Now another thing, the red pad is a full MIDI controller. You can you can control your pedal board, you can control your PSTs, you can control the rack mount. Actually what I've done here, I took the chaos pad right there. And now I can, instead of putting the chaos pad on my guitar, or trying to play with my foot, I can actually do it right from here. to what you can do with that. You can either use it as a standard like cross fade between your effects or play more like standard effects or maybe use it to create more like weird sounds. Now you can see I have those buttons here that allows me to change presets on the fly. So I don't really think too much, I just I want to play well on the preset. So when you have all those tools, you can make really your guitar be more unique and more inspiring. Let me uh, let us play one more uh, song for you. That is a uh, more not really guitar traditional sound wise. All right, Rob. Look at the kill switch. So by tapping, he actually activates the kill switch on the guitar. Thank <laughs> you. 
wrap up. And any questions? Something. Hit me. I, I have answer to any question. Try me. All right. Done. How yep. Does it, how does it work? How does it work? Well, basically, what you do, you can assign any parameters of any effects to the either x, y, or temp axis. So, for example, as I said before, I can assign the gain to control right from here. So it's going really natural emotion to work. Show them the wall. And again, with a wall pedal, I can do that. Again, now instead I can do it instead of doing it with my leg, right? I can do it with my hand now. It's really natural emotion kind of not tied to my pedal wood, right? Any guitar, you don't need any modification, no screws, no like special tools, nothing. And you can assign up to four different pads to one pad. Alright? Thank you guys. I'm here if you have questions. Right.